Hi, this is Lori Mangold at So Special Quilts, and this is a skill builder on matching seams. Um, as we start the program we call Five Dollar Quilt here, we're trying to um, make a skill builder series to get for new people to figure out or teach how to do some of this little stuff. Matching seams is a situation where when we put two seams together like this, when we go to sew this seam, these two, where these two seams meet, we have to do something called matching those. And the goal of matching a seam, if you look here, is that all four of these points are kissing each other. They're, they're perfectly aligned. Um, they're not gapped, they're not um, separated. In quilting, when we press seams to one side, we get the little ridge. And the advantage of that is, is that when I flip this and I put it over and I go to sew the seams, I have these, can you see these two seams? This one is pressed that way, this one is pressed this way. So we have those two little ridges. And I can put those little ridges together and I'm going to put them right next to each other and I'm going to squish them. And it's hard because I can't make you feel this, but it, when they're right next to each other, it's very smooth. You can barely feel anything. If they're not next to each other and there's a gap, you actually will feel a, a ditch in, you know, a gap in here or a big bump. If you have them on top of each other, you're going to end up with feeling like there's a really, something really thick there. The goal is to get them right next to each other. Once you have them in place, and they are, and I, you see how I squish and move them around until everything's nice and flat. You're going to take a pin, and you don't want to pin right here, that's a long pin, in the middle where the seam is because then you'll push them apart. I like to pin, I'll put a pin, and that's way too long for what we do, a pin on each side of the seam. So I put one here. And I put one, let me find another one, over here, okay? Then when I go to sew, I can line up my top edges. I can make them even. I'm going to start to sew, and I'm going to sew down until I get just to my needle just before this pin, and I'm going to take it out, but I'm going to leave the second one in until the needle gets over the seam. Once the needle is over the seam, I can take this one out, I can align the two bottoms, and I can sew the rest of the way. And ultimately, what we're looking for, and let me do it this way and see if I can make it look, is you're looking so that all four of these, and that's hard when it's pinned, come together. And I've got one over here that you can see. And you can see where all four of the seams are interlocked, and they all match up nice and pretty. Okay. It is a feel, you'll, you'll learn to feel that, um, feel how it goes together. The instructions for many things that you get will tell you what direction to press things in. If they don't, then you wanna take a little time as you put things together and understand that when you go to put these together, you want these seams going in opposite directions, the little flaps going in opposite directions, okay? And um, so that's if I was sewing a piece that had a matching. Now what happens if you have a row? Sometimes in a quilt, you figure 70, 80 inches, you've got lots of these match points as you go along. If I look at this one and this one goes in here, I've got one here, 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 and, you know, all the way around. What's important when you're doing a strip and you have match points is that you don't just start sewing and hope when you get to this one that you're still able to line it up. It's important to flip this over and I, the first thing I do is I go to every match point. So I'm going to go to this match point and I'll be honest, I usually just pin on the second side because it can't go anywhere as I'm sewing up to it. I come to this match point and I match this one and I put it on the end. I get to this match point and I squish that together and I pin that one. Now that's a stubby little pin. <laughs> I guess I should have opened one of our new packs of pins. Okay. 
You really want pins that are sharp, and we're going to talk about that here in a minute, that go in very easily and that are going to hold things together. And now I'm going to pin this last one. Okay. Right, can you hold it up and show us? Yes. See that? Now, as I'm sewing down, because this flap has the tendency to push up, I would definitely, I'm a pinner anyway, I would pin that one so that my presser foot doesn't flip it as I go over the top of it. I'm sure none of you have ever experienced that. The ones that are going this way, it really doesn't matter, okay? So now, if this was had long pieces in between like here, I could go in and I could line this up and I could put a pin here in the middle, okay, to make sure everything was pinned. This is going to give you the best match seam. Uh, I'm here to tell you from very personal experience that if you think you can just start sewing and match as you go and have it match, you're going to end up before you get to the end finding that things are not matching up and you'll end up spending time taking them out. But if you kind of, you can see when that's all pinned, when you flip it open, it'll all be pretty. And when you get done with that seam, everything will match really beautifully. Okay. Now, <clears throat> the other thing I, I just thought of is that this works great if you're using a regular presser foot. But if you have a presser foot with a guide or you've got a guide on your stitch plate to sew your quarter inch seam, just be aware you don't have to you can pitch your pins on the inside that way as you're sewing you don't have anything out here that's going to hit any guides that you might have so that's a pretty cool tip too because it's it's terrible to have to stop and and because they're knocking you out of the way so a lot of times if i'm using my um my guide on my foot or my machine i just make sure i pin on the inside and then I don't have to worry about my fabric getting moved as I sew on down, okay? Matching seams is, is a technique. It, pretty much everything we do where, where blocks and things come together, you're going to have to match a seam and that's why um, <clears throat> it's important skill to know, okay? All right, that's matching seams.